up? My name is Marcus Eddy, and this is my AMA. We're taking questions from Instagram, so let's do this. Okay, so the first one, pretty standard. When did you start getting interested in magic? Wow, start, when did I start getting interested in magic? Um, I mean, I think this is a, a standard story for magicians. Uh, my first love started when I was five. Uh, I was living overseas at the time. I was, I'm an Air Force brat, Air Force kid. And so we didn't have any access to magic shops or anything. So uh, my parents somewhere found these little magic kits. And, uh, you know, I couldn't read the instructions or anything, but I, I was in love with the idea of what magic could be. So from that moment on, uh, it, that started the whole journey. If you could perform one effect for the rest of your career, mm. what would it be and why? If I could perform only one effect for the rest of my career, it would probably be Stairway. Um, stairway is an effect where, you know, I have two bands, uh, you, you put a bill on it and the bill travels up and down, um, uh, up the, the rubber band ladder that you created. Uh, I've done it uh, well, thousands of times, <laughs> like no lie. And uh, the reason I perform it is because of the impact uh, that I get from it and of course the tips. The tips, people always wanna, just wanna hand over their cash every time. Uh, they see the effect, so I would say stairway would be my, my go-to only trick. How do you remember all of your tricks? How do I remember all my tricks? Um, the answer, the easy answer is I don't. <laughs> Either I'm, especially the stuff I created. Like, like there's, there's like, there are notebooks uh, and notebooks of things that uh, I'll create and totally forget about. Um, when it, as far as routines that I've learned over the years, um, I'm, I'm really only performing like maybe two or three uh, of the, the classic standard effects that I learned back in the day. So um, I'm not gonna I'm not even gonna count those. I'm only gonna count the ones that I created, which is which is a lot, and there's a lot I forget. So I always have to reference back to my notebook or back to my phone to see. How did you personally establish yourself as a performer and creator in the magic industry? Hmm. Wow, man. The, the way I established myself in the, the magic community um, was, I think, 2008 is when I think the magic community like first took notice of me. Uh, however, I, you know, I've been creating it and performing uh, way well before then. But as far as, far as the magic community, when I um, uh, linked up with a uh, oh boy, Daniel Garcia, Daniel Garcia, uh, we did our Project 5 uh, together, and it, that was the launching pad for me. Uh, and so, uh, shout out to Danny uh, for, uh, for bringing me in on that project uh, because that's when people's eyes were opening up to me. And then from then on, uh, uh, I try to stay as consistent as possible by keep creating and, and, and keep showing myself. Uh, there's, there's times where I'll just disappear from the internet, but I'm really working on a lot of things. So when I come back, I have a lot of new things to show. So um, yeah, I think it all started 2008 uh, is when I got established in the magic community. Uh, but you know, I've been here. I've been, I've been here. <laughs> what, what advice would you give to a magician who's just starting their own business as an entertainer? So, you know, practical advice, goals and practice, uh, what to focus on for their priorities. Any, any tips? Wow. What tips and advice to make magic your business? Um, you know, I think for me, that is still an ongoing lesson uh, to learn. Uh, I think I learn by doing, and I think most people learn by doing as well. So even though I may not have a direct answer for this, um, just know that there are no answers. Like really, all you have to do is just go out there and just do what you love to do. The more you keep doing things, the more you'll learn about uh, what you should do, what you shouldn't have done, <laughs> and what you should not do. Uh, and you can also uh, pay attention to your favorite artists, your favorite creators. Um, look at what they're doing and uh, you know, kind of follow the paths that they're doing correct that you like. And if you see anything that you don't like, then of course you won't go down that path. And by doing that, eventually you're gonna look at your own life and your own journey you're on your own path and you'll discover more about yourself and then you'll know the steps that you need to take in order to get to the place where you wanna be. Uh, it's very hard for me to answer that because I'm not sure where, where you wanna be in life. For me, for me as a creator, I'm gonna to look to the creators who I uh, grew up uh, learning from and kind of follow one or two people's path until I find my own path and my own journey and then uh, start making my own decisions. So yeah, I would say learn by doing and um, emulate at the beginning, emulate the people who you look up to 
and learn from them. Learn the good and please learn the bad. Uh, there's nothing wrong about you know uh, focus at, you know looking at someone's mistakes because any mistake that you make or that you see someone make is always a learning thing. So uh, always keep learning. <laughs>